New to FaceTime and not sure how to use it? We are here to help. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com and this video will be our beginner's guide to FaceTime where I'll teach you all the basics of using the app. Now let's get started. FaceTime is a video calling app for Apple devices like iPhone, iPad, and Mac. You can have voice and video calls one-on-one -on -one or in groups of up to 32 people. The app comes pre-installed on Apple devices, but if you've deleted it, you can easily re-download the app for free from the App Store. If you haven't set up FaceTime on your device yet, check out our tutorial on how to enable and set up FaceTime first. We'll have it linked in the description box below. Once you have FaceTime set up, this is what the app home screen looks like. It's very simple and user-friendly, with just a Create Link button to create a FaceTime call that people on any device can join, and a new FaceTime button, where you can start a call with a contact who already has FaceTime set up. There are a few different ways you can start a FaceTime call. As we just reviewed, you can tap New FaceTime in the FaceTime app, then select a contact you'd like to call, or type in their phone number or email address that they use for FaceTime at the top. If you want to have a group call, tap the plus sign to add additional people to your call. When you're ready, tap the phone icon at the bottom to start an audio call, or tap FaceTime to start a video call. Another way to start a FaceTime call is within your iMessage conversation with someone. While chatting with someone on iMessage, you can tap the video camera icon in the top right corner to get options to call them on a FaceTime audio or video call. You can also start a FaceTime call from your contacts app. Tap someone's name in your contact list, then tap the video camera or phone icon beside the word FaceTime to start a call. Once you're on a FaceTime call, you can tap the microphone icon to mute or unmute yourself. Tap the video camera icon to show or hide your camera. Tap the share play icon to get the option to share your screen or share play a specific app like TikTok, YouTube, or Spotify. Tap the info icon in the top right corner to see more details about your call and get the option to invite additional people. To end your call, tap the red X at the top. After finishing a FaceTime call, it will appear in your call history list in both the FaceTime app and the phone app. You can easily tap a person's name in your FaceTime history list to call them back. That does it for our beginner's guide to FaceTime. To learn more about using specific FaceTime features, check out our playlist of FaceTime tutorials. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.